Well, as you can see, everything has changed here, yes. as promised. And we are, of course, debuting our new look tonight, which includes this gorgeous new set. Very true, new and very big. We're going to mm -hmm. give you an in-depth look at it throughout tonight's newscast, wrapping up with a behind-the-scenes tour of the set, which has now been 30 years in the making. 1976, WFMZ goes on the air with a new look for the time. And of course, some familiar faces. Cloudy skies, says the weatherman for tomorrow. Over the next 30 years, the faces, the feel, and the look of 69 News has changed, but nothing has been as big as this. Everything changes. But first, we had to dig in and get started. We're very excited about it. And that happened one hot day in August when the anchor team did just that. But then it was time for the big boys to take over. We're looking forward to bringing a new look to our viewers and continuing the growth that we've experienced for the past 30 years. Growth that means putting up a brand new two-story building big enough to house the giant set. So as the leaves changed, so did the landscape here on South Mountain. 14 truckloads of concrete, 5,000 concrete blocks, and three and a half months later, the walls were up. The beams were in place, the five inch thick concrete roof was poured, and we're just getting started. And of course, we're sitting in that building right now, hard to believe, eight months already. Yeah. Coming up next on the news at 5.30, we'll talk to the internationally known set designer who came up with the look and show you how it all came together. That's right. Well, with all the construction came a lot of demolition, none of which could begin until 69 News went off the air Friday night. Start, just clean all this stuff off, guys. Take the computers off, and then we'll see. What Take anything important. Make it lighter. Nobody and as you can see, a lot of muscle went into tearing apart the old studio and moving the desk we've used since 1999. Everything you saw in front of and behind us on the news Friday night is now gone. All that space has been swallowed up by our new studio, which was actually built around the old one. And you can see for yourself what our new studio looks like. Just go to our website, WFMZ.com, and click on the special link at the top of our homepage for a behind-the-scenes tour. Well, as you can see, we have a new look here at 69 mm -hmm. News, one we're proud to debut for you tonight. Yep, this has been a long time in coming. At 5 o'clock, we showed you how it all got started. A big cement bunker, as we like to call it, went up first as a place to house this giant set. It took 5,000 concrete blocks, Wendy counted them, 14 <laughs> truckloads of concrete in three and a half months to finish. And it's complete with a five inch thick soundproof concrete roof. That's right, which brings us to where we are now, a look at how this new state of the art set came to be. A new year begins and so does the 69 News transformation. Um, this is a pretty exciting time. And Dan Devlin of okay. Devlin Design Group out of Colorado should know he's been designing new sets around the world for more than 20 years. So we pretty much do everything. I mean, from the graphic backgrounds to the electronics. Um, it's, a, it's a delicate weave of design and functionality and production values. In its entirety, the behemoth set eats up more than 2,000 square feet of the new building, making it one of the largest local news sets in the country. It's a big set. You guys have got it all. Including a second level. A real second level. There are a lot of um, fake two levels, two story sets. Mm -hmm. But this one is very real. In fact, this balcony is home to our state of the art weather center and traffic center. And we'll have more on those coming up at six. The first level is loaded as well with three giant projection screens, four wide plasma screen TVs, three separate news sets, and many more surprises. And isn't that the truth? Many more surprises. Many more. Uh, we are still learning all that this place can do, and we'll give you a behind-the-scenes look next. That's right. At 6, we'll continue our 69 News Everything Changes covered with a guided tour of the new studio. And if you can't wait for us to show you around, you can go to our website, WFMZ.com, right now. Just click on the link at the top of our homepage for a virtual tour of our brand-new studio. And one guy who's no doubt very happy because yeah. he has totally new stuff galore That's over right. there is yeah. Atlanta. Well, and you had said something with one of the meetings we had not that long ago with the roof. The only thing this yeah. place doesn't do is the roof opening up like a dome <laughs> stadium. And the set <laughs> flies out of the top. Yeah. Maybe we can arrange that. Maybe next year. It wouldn't yeah. surprise me, but this, this is amazing. <laughs> well, all 
Light, we've been giving you a behind-the-scenes peek at the new look of 69 News. Earlier, we showed you the new building here going up and the new set going in. Now it's time you get a look around. That's right, so let's show you what the big place can do. Well, at the center of it all is, of course, the main news set and the anchor desk, which ironically isn't really anchored at all. We've got a uh, rotating anchor desk that will spin for severe weather. Pretty neat, huh? The desk actually moves, giving us different backgrounds for different stories. That's right. So when the weather is the focus of the news, it can also be the focus of the set. Because oftentimes when we've got stormy weather, there's a lot of detailed information that is kind of has to go, go back and forth from the weather center and from the storm center to the anchor desk. Speaking of the weather center, that is also state of the art and very versatile. Mm -hmm. It is neat. It's fantastic. It is versatile indeed. Not only can the forecasters do the forecast from three different areas here, depending on the weather of the moment, they also have a special storm center located directly overhead on the upper level. We have like virtually every screen, there's some 15 to 20 different monitors, so we're able to really kind of keep our finger on the pulse of weather here in our area. Sports will also have its own space now here, led by sports director Troy Hine. The team will be able to show highlights, conduct live interviews, and bring you the latest scores on the state-of-the-art flat screen monitors. All right, and over here, directly behind the sports area, is a spiral staircase that leads you to the upper level, to the 69 News Traffic Center, now under development, and that's where where Rick Edwards will be able to monitor the highways for us. We're really excited about our PennDOT real-time traffic cameras. We have 13 available now with more to come. Together with our SkyCams, we're going to have over 20 cameras monitoring traffic around the Lehigh Valley. All right, and back down here on the main floor once again. We hope you enjoyed your little look around. Pretty spiffy, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you'd like to see more of our new studio, just go to our website, WFMZ.com. You can click on the special link at the top of our homepage and take your own behind-the-scenes tour. All right, time now for a look at the forecast. Mm -hmm. And here is Kathy with that. Kathy? Boy, we've come a long way, haven't we? And I'll tell you what, thank you all for being with us all those years. Uh, we do have a very... Well, we've been telling you all about our new studio here and how it took about eight months or so to build. Mm, or so. Yeah. But since we don't have that much time to show it to you now, we've trimmed it all down to about 30 seconds. Felt like, eight, seen yeah. <laughs> Felt like eight months right there. All right, one last check on our weather. Well, I'll tell you what, folks.